hit means to to take. Uh, Xiong is actually a picture, so it literally translates to taking a picture. Why? Because I like the word hip, uh, because I'm Hokkien. And also the, the old photo students in Singapore, they like to use like their Hokkien names and or their Chinese names, right? So I thought it's like a homage to, to the old photo studios as well. I used to like looking at my parents' uh, photos uh, back in the days when they shot it in the studios, um, even my relatives. I find joy in like, looking at old pictures. So I, I, when, I, when I got married, I really wanted to, to add on to that collection, you know. My grandfather had a shot in the studio, uh, my mom had a shot in the studio, and like, say, why not me? Why not? Why can't I have a shot in the studio as well? But I realised that a lot of photo studios, they don't do film anymore, or they change their business models. So I thought like, one day if I have a chance, I'll start my own like, analog photo studio. And web play photography was more like, um, because I was doing my research on old school photo studio, you know, I chanced upon it uh, when I was going through the books in the library. I thought it was a very interesting process because the guests actually get to uh, see the whole developing process. It's quite cool to like bring back like uh, something that really very old, uh, people don't really know much about. And I, it sort of like intrigues me, la. so I, that's why I went into web play photography. So wet plate photography uh, predates film. It was invented in 1851. Uh, that is how someone would take a picture in the mid uh, 19th century. Traditionally, wet plate photography is shot on glass, so we call them ambro types. Uh, but in this studio, we do uh, tin types, which we shoot on a metal plate. Most web plate photographers, they'll probably shoot like still life or objects or their friends. But my first plate was actually a self-portrait of myself. Uh, I was surprised that I managed to get an image on my first plate. Uh, most people didn't. So I actually used my toes to like turn, in, turn off and on the lights. I had to like uh, use a laser measure to measure my focus distance. All this have to happen um, within the five minutes window. And so I have to quote my first plate. I have to like sensitize my first plate. I don't know whether it will turn out or not. So the image turned out and I was in focus and I was like, uh, well exposed, like wow, you know, I was so blown away. I like, there's this like segment in my chest and I really wanted to, I uh, really wanted people to experience that same excitement that I had uh, in that dark room by myself. When the guests arrive, I will uh, welcome them. I will brief them on the uh, things to look out for. Uh, things like the, the lights we're going to use are going to be quite powerful because uh, wet plate photography requires a lot of uh, UV light for exposure. So we're trying to compress like 20 seconds of uh, sunlight into one short burst of flash. So I just want to check whether they have any medical conditions that's uh, averse to sudden burst of light, um, like epilepsy or eye problems. And also I uh, brief them about the dark room um, Things to look out for in a dark room are like don't touch any surfaces because there might be um, residues of uh, chemicals on the surfaces. I like it to be casual. I, I don't want them to be too um, concerned about how they look. I want them to enjoy the experience. Um, of course, I would love that they will come with their, their get up, their hair done and everything. Uh, it really makes an interesting picture. I'll sit them down, uh, frame them in a camera, and I'll adjust the lights based on their sitting position, really. So once that's set, I'll tell them not to move. I'll leave them for about 5 to 10 minutes. That's where I head to the dark room to prepare the plates. Once the plate is out, uh, the plate is actually still wet. That's why I call wet plate photography. So we have to expose the plate and develop it while the plate is still wet. So we have about 5 to 10 minutes before the plate starts to dry out. So the challenge is there where I'm racing against time. So once the plate's out, we're ready to go already.
it's very amazing actually it's like whoa like am i appearing on that you know it's, it came out initially it was just a metal plate right so then you slowly see the outline and then like you see your image appearing it it, it feels like magic I don't want them to expect too much. I just want to take them through this whole entire journey. I like to see their reaction at the end as well. Like, wow, I didn't know that there's such a thing, you know. I get to see that every day when people come and shoot, right? I see the same excitement they, they see, experience when I, when I did my first bit. So it really um, encourages me a lot, yeah.